It is an ecru, slightly off-white. Uh, it is a merino wool silk blend. Uh, so this is part of the, the great purple blanket shawl. Um, so we had the, the one bobbin full of the very dark purple. We did one of the two bobbins of the light mixed purple. And then there's going to be one, one bobbin of the white. And I'm going to ply it up. And it's going to be this purple, white, barber pole mess beauty. Beautiful mess. And then I'm going to knit it up into something that is a blanket for when the meeting rooms are too cold at work, but looks fancier like a shawl so I can get away with wearing a blanket at work. Is the goal. It's probably just going to be garter stitch on the diagonal. I'm probably going to do like the hibernation throw. But like half width kind of deal. Where it's just garter squish deliciousness. Um, but this is because it's silk, it's um, very slippery. And uh, it's got a nice sheen to it, although the camera is not doing it justice, of course. Uh, what are we? We're an hour and a half in. It is sheep wool, yes. Uh, it is merino sheep wool. So only, only wool is sheep. Uh, only so wool is only from sheep. Fleece is anything that is sheared off an animal. So you can have alpaca fleece or llama fleece or other things. But wool is technically sh only sheep. Uh, and this, so this is a wool silk blend and the specific breed, because different breeds have different wool qualities, uh, is merino. Which is the most common type of wool. Although not my favorite. Everybody likes Merino, but man, I like BFL and Coriadale. Alpaca doesn't have wool? Nope, alpaca has a fleece. So you can fleece an alpaca, and you can have a bunch of alpaca roving or top or fleece to spin. But wool is only only sheeps. Only sheepies. If you want to be really, really technical. First of all, sheepdog wool is not a thing. Wool does not come from dogs. <laughs> <laughs> 